hello 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 everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is tay and you're watching tay budget <laughs> everyone welcome to 2023 happy 2023 happy new year this is gonna be my first vid video of 2023 i think it's my first video i don't know if it's gonna be my savings challenge stuffing or is it gonna be this video but either one happy new year whichever one comes out first that comes out first but anyways we're gonna jump right into this video i'm gonna be showing you guys a few savings challenges that i'll be doing this new year um i'm so excited because i have some stuff coming and like i just want to get into it okay so um before we get into it how are you guys doing how is budgeting going so far it is the 11th day of the month uh, i just wanted to check in with you guys how are you leave in the comment section down below how you guys are doing so far all right so Oh, how am I doing? I'm doing okay. I'm doing well. I'm just trying to, you know, keep budgeting, keep doing what I'm doing. Okay, so first things first, I'm the realist. As you guys can see, you guys see my name on these two lovely, lovely, I don't know if you guys can see, lovely, lovely workbooks. Um, I am going to be publishing this soon. It's not on my Etsy yet, but I've already made one that is currently on my Etsy. I'm looking to sell those babies out so I can bring in something new. This is going to be published very soon. But I'm going to be working on some things. Working on some challenges that I have created myself. Um, some of the... No. One of these are in, inspired, inspired. Wow. From a Pinterest savings challenge. But I think everything else is... One or two yeah but i do want to work for my work quick this year and i've also made some a5 savings challenges as well so i'm going to be starting with that um these will also be in my etsy i don't know if i'm going to sell digital downloads for these um because the only reason why is because the way how it prints out like depending on your settings and everything it's so weird so i don't think i'm going to be selling digital downloads of these but it comes in black and it black and white and it also comes in color i'm also thinking of doing a laminated version so you can reuse these um savings challenges these are some low income savings challenges that everybody can do i believe so i will be also completing um these savings challenges so first let's get right into it so first is the rainy day savings challenge um, rainy day is basically um, a savings challenge that's going to be a part of your savings. So each um, raindrop is worth $25. So when you get your $25, you're going to be crossing that out. And if you decide to get, if I decide to laminate this, I'll be able to reuse it in the future. And I can keep, you know, doing it and doing it and accumulating um, $25 over time and finishing the challenge and redoing it again. Um, but if I decide to do the paper without lamination, um, it's only going to be a one-time use. Next is self-care. Self-care is very important. Um, sometimes we don't have the money um, to complete our self-care. But with this challenge, I'll be able to, I think, save like $180 to complete my self-care needs. Uh, whether it be, I doubt shopping, but definitely purchasing some perfumes for my, some fragrances for myself um taking myself out to a spa because there's this spa in new jersey that i want to go back to it's called so soho spa club if you guys ever heard of soho spa club like it's really really beautiful um so yeah so i'll be completing also this um self-care savings challenge as well uh the next savings challenge as you guys know spring is coming so we need to save to <laughs> You know for easter because easter is coming as well and that's also in the spring and even like for me like room decor like spring decor or even even like a, a spring break trip something i don't know but i also made this um spring savings challenge so there's two types of flowers i don't know the type of flowers 
but um so this this flower is worth ten dollars and this flower is worth fifteen dollars so i'll also be completing this savings challenge as well um and i also have a savings challenge binder that i'll be putting them into so if i do decide to laminate them i'll laminate them and put them right in here and then add in um probably add in an envelope in the back of it like a laminated envelope in the back of it so i don't have to have a pvc envelope okay so next we're going to move on to the workbooks um this will be on available on my etsy in a few weeks i don't know when for sure but it'll be available on my etsy something very very exciting very 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 exciting um is coming with this if you get the laminated if you get the laminated version of this workbook you're going to get like an entire mystery bundle. If you guys want to purchase this, please stay stay in the loop on my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram at Budgets. Also, um, turn on your post notifications on YouTube because I will probably, I really, really, really want to do a giveaway so bad. I don't know why, but I really do want to do a, a giveaway. And when I say giveaways are big for me, although I never did one before, I feel like I will go, I will go ham with this giveaway so um this will be available in my etsy soon but for right now i do need to start you know working on my workbook so i'm just gonna go throughout the workbook and let you guys know the challenges that i'll be doing and you also got you also guys <laughs> you will also be getting a sneak peek of you know some challenges that are featured in the workbook so first is my first thousand emergency fund um you don't have to be saving a thousand dollars for the first time in your emergency fund but this is just you know a title that i came up with um this will help you accumulate one thousand dollars over six months um you can shorten the time by combining um numbers together but in each month you save a specific amount so i think right now i if you guys watch my previous videos i'm already completing this challenge but i decided to actually have it in the workbook because i feel like it's a great challenge um for any type of um income earner um you can put down you know 50 dollars um a week to get to your 200 dollar mark you can put down a hundred dollars every two weeks to get to the 200 dollar mark like I feel like this is an achievable, easy challenge. Um, you don't have to go month one, month two, month three, month four, month five, month six. I thought I missed that number there. I was about to go ham. Um, but you can skip around if you want to just keep it, you know, from month one to month six. You guys can do that. But I'm almost done with this. I think I'm on month three. So I have three more months to go after. Next, I'll be doing a $5 challenge. Um, once you finish this challenge, you can keep going. You can double your fives and make it a ten. Um, so I'll be doing this five dollar challenge. I actually have some fives, so I'll be starting to stuff this. Um, in a, f I think in the next few videos that I'm gonna be starting to work on this workbook. So it will be great. I mean, it's not gonna be posted on my Etsy yet, but it will be great if you guys can come along with me as I complete this workbook um so if you do purchase it we can work together um next is a save set go challenge this is a more i don't even know where i came up with these numbers i don't know how much you're gonna save this is basically like a save set go mystery um total amount so throughout this table um there are various amount of numbers now some numbers duplicate um, so you're going to see 30 a few times, you're going to see 50, if, I think you see 50 a few times, no, you're going to see, yeah, 50 is up here, 50 is down here. So this is kind of a higher, I mean, it's for low income, because I'm doing it, right, but you can definitely split up these numbers, like for example, the 130, you can split it up, like, okay, I'm going to do $30 this week, I'm going to do $50 the other week, and then, you know, like you don't have to drop a full 130 because i know we have bills and we have you know other responsibilities to take care of so i would not you know recommend you know doing a full 130 if you can't do it that week 
um in between i don't even know like at this point i feel like i'm just showing you guys the workbook but i'm not even gonna explain the workbook i'm gonna do that in the in another video um so this is a savings challenge that i would love to complete first of all i want to do this in the winter time because the temperatures are low <laughs> so i want to do this in the winter time to where as you know the temperatures are 20 degrees so i'm saving 20 dollars temperature is 30 degrees so i'm saving 30 dollars like this is a great 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 challenge and it's only four of them so it's going to be an easy challenge to complete and i feel like i'm going to keep doing this over and over and over throughout the year definitely not doing it in the summertime because yeah summer is going to kill me with 80 degrees and 100 degree weather and 90 degree weather but it's definitely a great challenge to um start whether no matter the season that you're in next is the holidays so i did not what is the word participate yeah that's the word i did not participate in christmas in, in 2022 um so i continue to save i want you guys to be able to see that's why i keep moving the book but i did not um participate can you guys see i did not participate in the holidays last year um because something is going on in my life right now and I feel like that is more important than buying gifts. So I will be God spares life. I will be participating in the festivities this coming year. So I do want to save an adequate amount to where every person in my household, not in my family, because my family is huge, but in my household can get like a gift that they really, really love. Like, for example, I'm not saying I'm buying this for my sister, but for example, like, my sister would want um would want some airpods right now and you know if she doesn't get them by christmas you know i would have enough saved up between last year and this year to get her airpods and still have money left over to buy things for others so this challenge i created this challenge i did it and I, I, I need to patent it but you know when that time comes we'll do that but random save them so when i created this challenge on paper my diy savings challenge on paper i put in numbers right so it's a six week challenge i put in numbers right but i decided since i am going to be selling this book on my etsy Instead of, you know, you guys coming up with a number, I decided to include dice. So the dice will help you guys to figure out what numbers to save each week. So basically, you can roll three times and get your first three weeks, um, first week of numbers. So three, you're going to be saving three amounts each week. Um, you can decide whether to have double the dice. So two dice, you can, if you want to be you know a lot because i feel like i'm gonna do probably do two dice per package so you guys will have the option to either do two dice you know per amount or you guys can do one dice if you want to keep it at a low number it's up to you guys and it's also up to me next this challenge is gold why do i say that because ladies and gentlemen I was able to save almost $600 last year by doing this monthly $1 savings challenge. We're almost at the end stage, end stage, oh my God, we're in the middle, quite in the middle of January. And have I accumulated as much ones as I, as I want? No, I have not because I have not been spending as much money, which is good. But like when it comes to gas and like stuff that's left over in my cash wallet, I will be transferring it over into the monthly $1 savings. I'm still trying to figure out a good way to track this because I also am offering a A5 binder with the laminated savings workbook. I'm also going to be offering the, you know, regular paper one-time use one as well which is which is still good it's still good but 
with the laminated one, you just get to reuse it again. And it just comes with more stuff. So if you guys want more stuff, you know, of course it's going to be a higher price. But I'm still trying to figure out how to track your savings. Because um, right now, it's going to be, I'm just going to be tracking it in here. So I guess once that, oh yeah, once that month is over, I guess I can like put down the amount. I did the one, the monthly one dollar savings last year, and I'll be doing it again this year because it's 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 nice. Um, and I don't know for sure if I'm gonna be completing all these challenges, but the year is long. Hopefully, crossing your fingers, long but short. So hopefully, I'll be able to complete all these challenges by the end of the year. Next is Maze and Save. So basically this is a maze. So I have like a little encouraging messages throughout the maze. So you start start off the bat with a hundred dollars. Starting strong with a hundred dollars. You you cannot it can't get any better than that. You start off with a hundred dollars. You just go through the maze, you add a, you add the amount in the box. That's just that on that. Basically, easy challenge. Last challenge that I'll be doing is definitely, 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 you know, <laughs> one of my favorites. So blow the candle. This challenge is solely up to you. What do I mean by that? So let me explain the challenge. So the pet, this is a reusable challenge. It's never going to expire. Like this is gold, just like every other challenge. So. Each candle, I should have made it birthday cakes, but the name is blow the candle, not blow the birthday cake. So each candle is worth the age that you were turning. Okay. So let me explain that to you. So I'll be turning 23 this year. So each candle Or is it is it that? So you can do it two either two ways. Like I explained the instructions at the beginning of the book, but I feel like um you can either do it each candle is worth $23, or if you are like a low income budgeter, um you can have the amount equal up to two hundred like the amount that oh my god. Let me just read the instructions. <laughs> So, this is another self-paced challenge. Whatever age you'll be turning, this is the amount you'll be saving with an addition of a zero at the end. So, for example, you're turning 22, you will save $220. So, there are 20 candles. So, 220 divided by um, 20 is what? Not good with math. Let me, let me do the math real quick. 220 divided by 20 You'll be saving eleven dollars each candle, or you can do your turning twenty-three. So each candle is worth twenty-three dollars, and at the end it'll be uh, twenty-three times twenty. You'll be saving four hundred and sixty dollars. So either or either, you can follow my rules or you can do it your own way. I recommend both. So. I think that'll be all. Oh, also, I'll be completing the 100 envelope challenge. The, the most hardest, easiest $5,000 you'll ever uh, make in your life. Yes, I'll be completing that challenge this year as well. I'll also be doing the $20,000 challenge. I don't have it in front of me, but if you guys seen my prior um, savings challenge videos, I will be... Finishing off my Save My Engine challenge, my $20,000 challenge, hopefully. That $20,000 challenge is in my first workbook, so I'm working from the workbook before, and I'm working from this workbook. So there's a lot of saving challenges. All of them are not here. I'm also working on my third workbook that I have not even got through. I mean, I've done it, but I just haven't. So it's not in this, it's not in this video, but, um, it's not in this video, but I will be showing it to you guys sometime soon. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested, please let me know. If you guys love the layout of this book, let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys are interested in any of the savings challenges that I just spoke about, please let me know in the comments. I, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I'm ready to listen. This is going to be a great year. I already already love this setup. I feel like this is this is definitely yeah yeah. So if you guys want to know what's in the bundle and everything, it's going to be coming soon. Make sure you guys follow my Instagram, y'all, at Tay Budgets. You guys will see everything that's going to be in the laminated workbook bundle. You guys will see it. You guys will be a part of it. So go ahead and subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. Happy New Year, everyone. Make sure to remember to be disciplined while budgeting. It's hard. But it's going to be worth it all in the end. See you guys in the next video. Happy New Year again. Bye.